I just seen a brother named Hassan. Been looking at a couple of his videos. He's spitting that fire. He's spitting that fire. Let me tell you this, right? I tend to not get into the the hood, the hood wave because I already understand where I'm at with it. And I understand where I'm going with it. So I try to speak to the people and I try to really get to the youth because the parents don't bother. But I gotta be very aggressive on the parents. And I understand his, his charisma. So I respect what you're doing, Haas. Keep doing what you do. I see you going through a lot too, my guy. Don't let none of that shit, um... Don't let none of that shit bring you down. That's part of the game. Let me tell you this, right? Out of a million people, out of a million people. Hear me out, Haas. 600,000. Maybe half of those people not gonna like you. I understand. I got. I deal with a hundred over, over maybe. maybe. What? I got a hundred thousand on my main page on Instagram. I got I own seventeen pages on Instagram. I get busy on social media. Just on that side. See you. You. I see you. You on the YouTube side. I'm on the Instagram side. I see what you're doing. Keep doing it too. Awareness is everything. Awareness is everything. I just get upset because people don't bother. People don't bother, but you can't pick and choose who's who. So you just keep going. Keep going. It's all love over here on this side. And I'm in the Bronx too, so. Let me get back to what I was talking about, though. Pardon. Life only gonna get better if you want it to get better. You gotta be intentional. I preach the stock market because I'm intentional. I have thousands of dollars in the stock market because it was intentional. And when I have millions of dollars, it's gonna be intentional. I'm not gonna look at my account and be like, oh, how did that get there? No, it's there. I put it there. The object in life is to get you, to get your loved ones out the damn hood. Gotta get out the hood. If you want your kid to grow up how you grew up or grew up where you live at, you selfish. And if you think you gonna be able to swim past the sharks, like all these bad heads, You got another thing coming. The hood gonna raise your kid too. And not only the hood is gonna raise your kid, the government too. Because you ain't gonna learn nothing about entrepreneurship and investing in your future. You always gonna have a short term mentality, short term thinking at all times. Thinking you could get over on the system, which you can't. It was built for you to work for them. Because if there's no consumers, how would I be able to pile up all the cash I'm piling up off the stock market? See, it's always going to be high demand on land. Because there's people out here having sex that shouldn't be having sex. It's always going to be high demand on real estate. So I could jump in that game at any time. Learning business and learning the stock market was something different to me. See, I already understand that. I'm young. Not that young, but I'm young. I'm definitely a millennial. And I'm happy where I'm at. But I'm not happy where I'm at. Because one, you have to be thankful for the things that you have to receive more. But you have to want more. You have to you have to bother. You have to know that it's more for you to go get. You can't just be comfortable with the little things you got. Like my thing is, right? Get away from stupidity. Because, right, as soon as you feel like you got more than all your stupid people that you're around. You just feel like you don't got to work no harder because you're comfortable. Because you on top. You on top of slow people. You on top of stupidity. Let's get out the neighborhoods and see more. 
You know it's more out there to do, right? You know it's more things you can do, right? Let's stop playing. Let's start making sense. Let's start using it. Let's stop making common sense a superpower. Because one, if you're not right, your kid is not right. Your kid going to try to look up to somebody at, like me. Somebody that understands a mentor. Sometimes a mentor could be like a father figure or a mother figure to somebody. Y'all hear you hear what I'm saying? Because you start to feel or realize, like, why the hell did my mother or father didn't teach me this? And why they didn't even take the time out to even want to study? See, time is fucked up because it only go forward. But see, a lot of people wish that it can go back. Trust me. A lot of time wasted. A lot of consumer behavior. A lot of just spending money for no reason and not even bothering. No hope. And you get your hope late in life. When you turn, what? 50 years old. No. Let's do it now. Like, stop it. Stop the stupidity now. You can't cry or spill milk, but see what things is, what happens is, is a person feel like now after, since they 30 and they 40 and they 50 and they got older, they feel like they lost out. And you haven't. Unless you're about 50 and better, that's the only way you're going to have to put a whole lot of money and in investments. To retire at that 65 mark is 15 years. So you got to go hard. You got to go hard. And that's just that. You got to put up more. But anything under that, you 40, you 30, you can invest and you can become wealthy very fast. You can have a 10-year plan to become wealthy. It's just that people don't have plans, so they plan to fail. Who problem is that? That's not the man problem. That's not the man problem. It's your goddamn problem. You don't want nothing. You. It's you. You watch too much celebrity TV. You watch too much gossip. Like, let me tell y'all something, right? Everybody is entertainment. All of this is entertainment. It. It's entertainment. Everything. Because sometimes, right? Me sitting here motivating you don't mean you're going to go out there and do it. See, having a mentor is something different because a mentor get to walk you through things and get to show you and make sure that you don't go through the bumps and bruises that, that, that they went through. So you become scared of shit that you don't really understand. And that's anybody. When you don't understand something, you type scared of it. You don't have to act. Like, I don't care about you acting. You're scared of it. Sometimes you get your people that just jump head first. I was always a head first person. If I see something I like, a business I like, something I like, I jump head first. And then whatever happens, happens. If, if the business ain't do go right, it just ain't go right. I learn from my mistakes. But then you have people that really just, they want to, they want to, they want to, but they never do. Like people with high goals. They want to. They got goals. A lot of people, they be, they just don't attack them. They don't attack them. You don't take the step. You got to take a step. It's like a baby learning how to walk. When a baby learn how to walk, those steps is funny. Those steps is, is funny. Until they get it. Once they get it, then they start running. You understand what I'm saying? Gotta start with what you got. Only thing about investing is you can start with something small. Well, let me say investing in the stock market. You can start with what you got. Crumbs turns into breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs turns into a whole loaf. 
then you can go splurge. Then you can go have a good time. The problem is we live the I want it now lifestyle. You got people that feel like they deserve things. My thing is, right? So you don't think you deserve to be wealthy? You work your whole life hard. You don't think you deserve to be wealthy. So my thing is, you're supposed to buy things. When are you going to pass these things down to your kids a bunch of sneakers 40 pair of sneakers hoping that they wear your size <laughs> belts foreign clothes and jackets I don't understand it we got to come together as people will understand stupidity it's very easy to learn something and get lit off of it Stop living in bad habits. Stop not bothering. Stop not caring. Stop not having hope. Stop saying you can't. Stop not going through. Stop not taking a first step. Stop not wanting to work hard. You will never become the highest entrepreneur you may. You, you won't. See, my thing is, see me, I just like to be able to take care of my family, you know? I like being, I, I like doing the things I like to do. I like investing. And when you start something, you start to like it. When you see your money working for you, you can put your money to work, you start to like that. Every dollar is $21 of your future. That's a, that's a $21 of your future. $1 turns into $21 in your future. One. So I want to save as many dollars as possible. That's, the, that's a good flip. A dollar and a 21? Woo! That's 20x your money. You like that? Return on investment can't get no better than that. Pardon me, you know, blank on, you know what I'm saying, You're talking to y'all. Like, comment, and subscribe. You know? You make sure I share that and share this video. Share the video of your Facebook game. Yeah, y'all can do what y'all want with my videos. Share all of them. Let's get the message out. Let's get the message out. I just see the brother Dave how I saw it. Been looking at a couple of his videos. He's spitting that fire. He's spitting that fire. Let me tell you this, right? I tend to not get into the the hood hood wave because I already understand where I'm at with it. And I understand where I'm going with it. So I try to speak to the people and I try to really get to the youth because the parents don't bother. But I gotta be very aggressive on the parents and I understand his his, his his charisma. So I respect what you're doing, Haas. Keep doing what you do. I see you going through a lot too, my guy. Don't let none of that shit um don't let none of that shit bring you down. That's part of the game. Let me tell you this, right? Out of a million people, out of a million people, hear me out, Haas. Six hundred thousand. Maybe half of those people not gonna like you. I understand. I got. I deal with a hundred over over maybe what, maybe I got a hundred thousand on my main page on Instagram. I got I own seventeen pages on Instagram. I get busy on social media. Just on that side. See you. You. I see you. The you on the YouTube side. I'm on the Instagram side. I see what you're doing. Keep doing it too. Awareness is everything. Awareness is everything. I just get upset because people don't bother. People don't bother, but you can't pick and choose who's who. So you just keep going. Keep going. It's all love over here on this side. I'm in the Bronx, too. So let me get back to what I was talking to, though. What I was talking about, though. Pardon me. Now, 
Life only gonna get better if you want it to get better. You gotta be intentional. I preach the stock market because I'm intentional. I have thousands of dollars in the stock market because it was intentional. And when I have millions of dollars, it's gonna be intentional. I'm not gonna look at my account and be like, oh, how did that get there? No, it's there. I put it there. I flipped. I flipped. God bless to learn something. To put myself in a lane that I can have my I'm own in, driver. I'm in the driver's seat. You understand what I'm telling you? I got the steering wheel. You're supposed to control your own life. And don't let nobody control yours, man. Do the things you like to do. Don't get me wrong. There's a lot of people that look at what I'm saying and treat it like entertainment. Personally, you think I care? I give her two shits. I'm going to get rich regardless. This is why I learned the formula and the strategy. So everything else is peaches and cream. Ooh. Yeah. That's right. It's peaches and cream. And it's tasty. Real tasty. You like that? <laughs> so you plant corn, you get corn. You plant stupid, you get stupid. You like that? But that's how life is. You plant something, you get something in the future. So plant your seeds, people. And don't just watch me tell you this. Don't just watch me grow. Don't just watch me make thousands of dollars and grow it. Because you ain't got to learn it from me. Learn it from anybody. I don't care. Learn something. Knowledge is power. The more you know, life will feel a little bit better for you. I mean, you ain't going to like what's going on around you. But you're going to make it that your kids and your kids' kids and your kids' kids' kids ain't got to go through that kind of bullshit. Because you prepared them ahead of time. You save, you invest. You pile up some cash. And while everybody else consuming, you piling up and you sacrifice it because you know you brought these kids in the world. You knew that. Stop thinking about, oh, how the kid going to get to college. When the kid just getting out of high school, stupid. Once the baby come out, you should be thinking about that already. Think long term. Stop short term thinking. It's corny and it's annoying. As soon as I speak to short term thinkers, where are you? Where are you? Because it's so, it's so sad for you to be so short term and be broke. So please in the short term be rich. Please, in the short term, be rich since you want to be speaking about short term thinking all oh, deals. Speak about short term shit. Like, comment, and subscribe, man. Shout out to everybody doing the same thing I'm doing. It. Trust me, I'm doing it on a smaller scale on YouTube, but I'm coming. I'm coming. It took a little time. I understand time. And I use my time very wisely. Trust me, I use my 24 hours very wisely. Trust me. I got eight businesses and they on cruise control. The only thing I got to do is put money in the marketing for the boom boom room. You like that? So you better learn some business, learn some real estate, learn some stock market investors so you can get you and your family out of poverty. Because so sad thing about it is, is you know if you make $34,000 in a year, you know you're in the top 1%, right? And a lot of y'all making that. You just like to buy sneakers and dumb shit. Y'all know I buy stocks like some of you stupid motherfuckers buy uh, Some of you stupid motherfuckers buy uh, sneakers, huh? Let's build some wealth. That's the only way you're going to get out of poverty. Ghetto. As for the people that don't bother, what you want me to tell you? I want you to sit there and hate. I want you to do your goddamn job. You do your goddamn job. All right? You a hater. I want you to hate all you can hate. It's a beautiful thing to have to hate us. Beautiful. And yes, I'm a licensed smoker. License. I'm in New York City. And I do the things I like to do. God bless. I put myself in position to do the things I like to do. It's all intentional. Intentional mean on fucking purpose. 
for all the stupid people out there. Save your goddamn money and stop stunting. Because look, 70% of Americans is popped. So that means 7 out of 10 cars on your block. It's not even paid for. Don't let nobody stunt and make you feel low. Because let me tell you this. Me? I made 131% of my money in one year. You could become rich like this. You could do something. And you could jump on top of a person like this. Person jump right back on top of you like this. So don't worry about what a person got. Worry about your own. Worry about what you're going to pass down for your, to your kids. Worry about how your family going to be living. Worry about your legacy. Everything else is time wasting. Everything else is a distraction. Like I said, sometimes I could be a distraction. They draw more people in. I'm funny. I'm a comedian. Preacher Willie come out of me. I do the things I like to do. I've been doing that before, the, before, before social media. I've been lit. I've been bugging out before the gram. I've been on the gram for two years now, bubbling. God bless. Photo shoots, shout outs, videos, everything. I do it all. I sat there and practiced and learned 10,000 hours of anything and make you lit at it. That's why it's easy to learn something and get lit off of it. All these people that's, that's editing and going hard, they didn't just know how to do it. They didn't just pick it up and know how to do it. You got to practice, practice, make perfect. Save your money so you can bet on yourself and you ain't got to worry about nobody putting you on. That's all I can tell you, because ain't nobody trying to put you on unless they're going to be deep in your goddamn pockets. And you can't complain about that, man. You be happy that you got out and then you get your back in. Because the front end is to them. You didn't have it. You didn't save nothing. You spent it all on stupid shit. Like, don't spend all your money on videos and all that, but no money on marketing. Don't, don't buy a $5,000 outfit, but no money on marketing. Who's going to see it? Man, yo, like, comment, and subscribe. I can go on for hours with this one. Who's going to see it? The club's disrespecting y'all. Because you're paying for a slot. Somebody hear your song that first day, they don't even know. They was drunk that day. They ain't even know who you are. And you put yourself in a club atmosphere, and now they don't want to pay you. Because they see you all the time. You like that? Because you couldn't be patient. You could build first and build first. Take time. It take five years to build a bread. Build up your bread first. So you get paid for your work. Unless you're just putting it out. That's the whole thing about learning a business. Nobody wants to learn a business. Everybody can rap. Everybody got a talent. Everybody has a talent. You don't got to be rap. Everybody got a talent. God gave everybody a talent. Once you unlock it, you have to learn how to market it. It's already mastered, so don't tell me, oh, I got to go learn and master my craft. It's already mastered. It's your craft. It's craft macaroni and cheese, baby. Learn how to market. What y'all to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Babe, let the ghetto man.